In this video, I want to take you through the new Astra style guide or style system, which came in 4.8 version of Astra, which literally makes styling your WordPress websites using the Astra theme so much easy. Now, when I talk about the style system, I mean anything to do with how your buttons look, how your fonts look, and how your colors look on your website. Just like you can see here on this website, I use the Astra style guide to style up everything from the buttons. That's why you see that the buttons are looking literally the same everywhere you see them. And by the way, you can choose a separate style for the primary buttons and the secondary buttons just in one place, like I'm going to show you in this video. And also all the colors and stylings, everything, once you have it set up, Whenever you create a new page, a new pattern, it will be able to follow that same style system that you created in the Astra style guide. So let's go in the back end to look at how this looks like. So here I go to the customizer, which takes me straight to the Astra customizer or in the dashboard of this customizer. And right here on this pencil icon, I can just click over there and straight I'm into the Astra style guide. If you are already in the back end of your website, all you have to do is come here to the dashboard and inside the dashboard, look for appearance, customize, and still you see this new pencil here called the style guide. And there we are. Now, first things first, you need to have a color palette. And there are many tools that can enable you to generate a color palette. And one of those tools that I love to use to generate patterns is Color U Color Mine UI. So Color Mine UI right over there. And as you can see with the Color Mind here, I can try to generate as many color palettes as possible by simply clicking generate and down below here, it will go ahead and explain to you how and where you can use such a color that has been generated. So already in the Astra customizer, we have this color palette which was generated by Astra. And if I want to change these colors, all I have to do is to click here on the color. And here I can add a color code for that specific color. But if you have a color palette, just like this over here, all you have to do is to copy the color and take it over there and replace it with any of the colors here. Now, the thing is if you add or if you create your own color palette, so for instance, when I click over here, there are many options to customize or to create your own color palette where you can add your own colors. And once you have the perfect colors that you want to use, I tell you, it's going to be a very easy process for you to come up with a good style guide for your website. Now, Inside here, we already have three patterns that are showing up here. And once we click on that pattern, the colors will automatically update right over here. If we click like on this pattern, then the colors are also going to update right over here. And like I've already told you, you can go ahead and customize each individual color in the palette right over there. I'll go back to my style two color palette. And right over here, like you can see these colors, once they are applied to any section of your website, say for instance, we have the accent color, we have the links color, we have the H1 to H6 colors. That means that wherever an H1 is used, that color will adopt to that H1 element. So for instance, if I use this orange for H1s, you see all the H1s will have that color on the entire website but that will not apply to the body font because the body font is having a different color, which is this other color. So I hope that now gives you an idea of what is happening. So anytime you come back into the Astra style guide and change the color for the body color everywhere on your website where that body text was used, it will change unless you went ahead and customize that element in a specific page. Now I'm going to just head back here and set my headings to this other color from our palette and automatically like you can see we have our headings just looking nice and neat and the other thing I want to talk about is the font so for instance our headings over here the typography or the font is selected from the presets that come in Astra but that doesn't mean that you cannot choose your own body fonts and heading fonts for your website so for instance in this case we have the preset which is right over here Playfair display and open sans, but you can choose another, you know, um, preset that is from over here. And as you can see, everything automatically changes to adjust to what you select 
right over here. But that doesn't mean that you cannot customize these fonts. So for instance, I can go back here and change the body font from Open Sans to another you know, font. And for instance, the heading font, I can change this to another font like um, outfit in this case. And there we go. So just like that, you can set up your headings, font and body fonts using the Astra Customizer just from one single page right here. And of course, you can go ahead and customize the heading fonts from for the different heading styles. So for example, H1, H2, H3. But automatically, Astra has set that to inherit from the base heading font, which is set right over here. And now back here, uh, we want to make sure that we... I'll select back my... Uh, default preset and right over here you can see we have some buttons and we have the primary button and a secondary button now the primary and secondary button are also based on the original colors that we set in our style or from our style guide and here you can see the background color is one of the colors that are in the palette and you can see the hover color is also one of the colors that are in the palette and this color is applying to the primary uh, the primary button right over here now that means that wherever you are going to be working on your page and you use one of the buttons by default it is going to go to use the primary button in case you decide to use a primary button and if you choose to use both you can have the secondary button and the primary button and they will all default to this style that you see over here so in this case i had customized my button to have this kind of edge uh, with a few pixels i can change that back to the border radius of 50 so that you see that the edge looks like the other edges but you can go ahead and change that as well and make it the opposite so like that i make this a 10 and then you have a complete custom button that you're going to be seeing on your website all the way through so uh, if you decide to choose a different font style for the button that is how it will look like but as well you can decide to inherit the font from the body font and that means that your buttons will be using the body font that you set up as the best font for the theme now if you choose a custom one automatically your buttons will have to use a custom font which is here and everywhere you use a button in your pages it will default to that font that you set right over here now let's look at the section for the a site title and the logo when I click over there you see it prompts me to upload the logo but in this case I use an SVG icon where I pasted the SVG XML code right over here but if you decide to upload the logo right over here in the media library you can add your logo and that logo will be shown up here in the site title and logo section that means that that logo will also be appearing anywhere on your header where you have used the site title or logo widget on your WordPress website. Same for the site icon, which is over here, which I came down below here, and then I decided to upload the image. And that site icon appears right here in the browser tab of your WordPress website. You can remove that. And if I remove it, you see it defaults back to the WordPress uh, site favicon icon. So if I go back here and select my site favicon, it should be, let me see, should be this one, 512 by 512. And there you see it comes back right there. Make sure that when you are uploading your site favicon that it is in the dimension of 512 by 512. So it means a square and it should be better if it's a PNG or if you give it a background so that it is easy to spot in the tabs of the browser in that case. Now we are going to go straight into the back end and we just try to test out what we just did. So in this case, when I'll close this tab, I don't need it anymore. We are going to come here to pages. We are going to go to add a new page and we'll name this as test style styles and I will hide the name and save as a draft so I am going to start by adding a button widget so button where are my buttons there shows up my buttons and you see that now we have two buttons so this they are all both primary buttons but if I come over here to primary I can set this to be a secondary button and you see that now we have two buttons that, that are automatically having the style that we set up in the style guide. Now we can just make changes right over here to the text and automatically I'll have 
submit message and here i can say check out video check out video right over there so that's how it happens to be like so if i enter here uh like uh a heading widget so where is my heading widget you see this is uh, this is a heading and you see it automatically adopts to the style that we set up in our style guide now what else do we have to look at so for instance if i open up the design library you see that i have different uh, backgrounds for the templates that i can use or for the patterns that i can use on my website so for instance i can start with this light background and add it as a hero on my page and then later on i can decide to say now let me add another pattern but this pattern is going to be in a dark kind of layout and this could be like the features kind of uh template and there we go and now the next one would be like a white one so i'll come here design library and uh, look up for a white one or i can just look up for a light colored one and this could be like a call to action so where are you called to action uh i think i i will pick this one here and you see that now i am going to come here to the navigator and look up for this which is here i move it down below here and then I'm going to save changes. I'm going to come and preview this and you see that we have already built up a page which is having our style that we created already in our website. Now, how does this make the magic in case you change up your mind or you decide to change a color in your color palette? What happens? This is what happens when I come to my color palette and for instance, I change this color, the primary color, I change it to a blue a blue or a purple something like that everywhere where this color the color one that was applied will change automatically so when i say publish then i come here to test styles and i update boom here we are you see our buttons have all changed and also our background and also anything to do with where that color was initially used. So in the case where you wake up one day and you want to change or you have a change in the design system, the colors, the typography, you all have to do that from one place, which is the style guide for Astra. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you found it helpful and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a good time and goodbye.